The Josh Bernstein Show starts where the rest of the media ends. And now, here's your unapologetic host, Josh Bernstein. Welcome back to the program. This next segment that we're going to cover, uh, I am steaming. I am very angry. I'm very upset about this. And I can guarantee you, all of you, that either don't know about this or hearing this for the first time are going to be seething, seething with anger when you hear what I am about to talk about. Has Sharia law taken hold in, of all places, Twin Falls, Idaho? I mean, we're talking this is a very red state. However, according to this leftist judge, Thomas Borison, uh, it certainly appears to be the case. Rape of children and forced marriages with children as young as six, seven, eight, nine years old in the Islamic faith uh, is not only commonplace in many Islamic countries, but it's actually encouraged. The story is this. Three boys last year, two were from Iraq, these are refugees, or rape fugees, as I like to call them. These two boys, ages 7 and 10, and then one other boy from Sudan who is aged 14, they pled guilty recently, last month as a matter of fact, in juvenile court in Jerome, Idaho. Uh, they did this in April. To multiple counts, multiple counts of sexual crimes in an incident that happened in Twin Falls, Idaho. Now, let me give you some background. I'm going to try not to be so, so graphic here, but for the effect and how serious this is and how big of an injustice this is, I am going to be a little graphic. So I'm just giving you a warning right now. The assault occurred at the Fawnbrook Apartments when five-year-old Jayla, who, by the way, is mentally disabled and mentally challenged. She is mentally developed and, and challenged. She was lured into a laundry room at this apartment complex by these three boys. When they lured her into this laundry room, they immediately closed the door. They grabbed her. They stripped off her clothing. Now mind you, this is a five-year-old mentally challenged girl. They stripped off her clothing they, gosh, I, oh, I'm just going to have to say it. They urinated on her. They relieved themselves on her, including even in her mouth. Then they proceeded to rape her repeatedly uh, through genital means as well as anally. This was done repeatedly for quite a long period of time. And the 14-year-old, the oldest one, videotaped the entire thing. Now, there's more details than that, but again, I'm trying to keep it as PG as I can. I don't want to gross people out to the point where they don't want to watch this video because I'm not into shock value. I'm into truth value and getting the truth out to you so that you can be just as pissed off about this as I am and many others when they find out this information. Now, here's what's almost as sick, demented, and twisted as the fact that this poor little girl was raped. The fact that the judge and the prosecutor, and before that, the former attorney general, have all issued gag orders on this case. This is like nothing we have ever seen before. These are Muslim refugees that have been placed here from Sudan and from Iraq. They, they go and they rape this poor little girl and these Dirt bags, these losers in Idaho from the former attorney general issuing a gag order when the trial was starting saying that anybody that talks about it could be censored or could be arrested. Well, you know what I say to that person. I can't do it on camera, although I'd like to. Uh, and now the prosecutor, this vicious, vile female prosecutor, comes after the parents of this five-year-old girl, and they try to make these three Muslim boys out to be the victims. 
They're not the victims. The five-year-old girl is the victim. She's the one that's going to have these mental scars and physical scars for the rest of her life. And her parents have been censored and put a gag order on. So they can't even talk about it. They can't even talk about it. It's as if this judge has raped the parents of this little girl as well. This is the most sickening injustice I think I've ever heard of in a very, very long time. And the fact that this is in Idaho, I would almost expect this in San Francisco or in New York or in Chicago. But this is in Idaho, Twin Falls, Idaho, as red as red can get. This is sickening. And the judge, by the way, the judge, after his ruling, he ruled that these kids are going to get off scot-free. Scot-free, folks. No jail time. None. They raped a five-year-old, mentally challenged girl, and they're going to get a slap on the wrist of probation. And what's even worse than that, this piece of you-know-what judge, he ordered a gag order against the little girl and her parents from ever speaking about this. I am enraged, and I'm sure that you, if you didn't know about this and are learning about this, are probably feeling the same thing that I'm feeling. So there's a couple things that are going on. Number one, there's a petition. I'm going to put the petition in the bottom of the video, in the link, and I expect every single person that has watched this, if you have a heart in your body, that you will sign this, this petition to get rid of this judge and these prosecutors. They need to be removed from the bench. This is a complete injustice. They started talking about how these kids are doing well in school, these Muslim children. They're doing well in school and that they're traumatized and they have PTSD from going through the trial, trying to make these kids out to be the victims. Meanwhile, they could give two craps about this five-year-old girl who's been violated like this. Now, here's another thing. Not only do I want you to sign the petition, but if you live in Idaho, I want you to go down to the court. 233 West Main Street, Jerome, Idaho. Their phone number is 208-644-2600. Again, 208-644-2800. The address, 233 West Main Street, Jerome, Idaho. Let's go down there, let's set up a protest in front of this courthouse, and let's let them know that this injustice will not stand, and it cannot stand. Now, I don't normally get this animated on the show, but when it comes to abusing little girls, whether it's this demented, sick, female genital mutilation that's been going on in Minnesota and Detroit and other areas, or, or a horrific situation with a five-year-old mentally challenged girl being urinated on and raped anally and everything else, I am livid. And I expect everyone watching this video to not just watch the video and go, oh gee, that's real sad. I'm so sorry for that girl. I'll put my prayers out for her. No, we need a protest. We need a protest set up in front of this courthouse. We need this petition signed and we need to remove this judge. And you know what I say to your gag order judge and prosecutor? I'd like to give you a certain symbol in front of the camera, but I won't do that. Bottom line is, this is an injustice that cannot stand. This cannot stand. So please, folks, take this seriously. Let's protest. Let's sign this peti petition, and let's get rid of these losers. That's all I got. I'll be right back.